In 2003, Sean Rodriguez went to trial and he was charged with a variety of very serious heinous crimes, including attempted murder, conspiracy to commit murder, kidnapping for extortion, some really, really heavy charges where if you really took a look at what happened, those seem really overblown. And sure enough, um, in 2015, the only victim in this crime came forward and wrote four different letters to the authorities confessing that he committed perjury at the trial, that he lied about significant details of what had occurred. The authorities have done basically nothing with this confession. Um, Sean has been in prison an additional eight years since this information came to the forefront. Um... But I was thinking about it. Why would a victim risk going to prison himself? Because perjury is a crime and um, it's punishable with some hard time. If you're Nick Hammond, why would you come forward and admit to perjury 12 years after a crime had occurred? And my belief is that Nick Hammond himself, the only victim in this crime, he himself believes that Sean should be released from prison, and he believed that eight years ago, which is why he went out of his way to admit the crime he committed in that courtroom where he lied about what Sean did and the situation and important details, which led jurors to have certain impressions about what happened and what Sean's role was, which weren't exactly true. So my point is, if you read between the lines of why would someone admit to their perjury, it's because they feel hella guilty and know that the person who's a victim of their perjury has been severely overpunished. That's why Nick Hammond spoke up and admitted his perjury. Now, why did he do it? Why did Nick Hammond commit perjury? I have my own theories. You know, he was a convicted child molester, a schizophrenic homeless man. I think he was used to being in trouble with the law. In this particular case, he wasn't in trouble with the law. The law was working to help him. It was Anna and Sean that were in trouble. And I think he just wanted to do what the authorities wanted him to do, which was nail Sean, get a conviction, no matter what. So I think Nick lied, either because of pressures from the authorities to do so, or another possibility is his schizophrenia, like that he actually believed what he said back then on some level, uh, that he hallucinated some of these details and then later realized it was a hallucination. So that's a possibility as well, because don't forget, Nick Hammond is a well-documented crazy person. So that's the point of this video. Just remember, keep in mind, why would a victim go out of their way and risk going to prison themselves to reveal the truth now that they had lied before in court. And I believe that if you read between the lines, what this means is that Nick Hammond himself believes Sean deserves to be free. Food for thought. Think about that.